Is there any problem on the world stage? And I, I mean beyond just the awkwardness or the embarrassment. Is there any actual policy problem or, or foreign relations problem with the president doing things like this on the, you know, so publicly with foreign leaders present? Yes. Uh, I was at a... Uh... Uh, small dinner at an embassy the other night uh, with several ambassadors in attendance. They're uh, very confused and wary. Uh, what I worry about is not just that uh, a president of some country uh, may be reluctant to take a phone call from President Trump. Uh, and by the way, uh, President Rouhani apparently didn't come on the phone at the uh, UN. I think that was a missed opportunity. I don't think it was all Trump's fault. I think Rouhani's worried about uh, his uh, support back home, but nonetheless, he didn't get on the phone. And I think others will worry about what transcript and where, um, but I worry even more about our intelligence uh, uh, capacity when intelligence agencies abroad won't share intel with us because they'll be afraid it will be leaked or in some way misused. I mean, there was just a missile test the other day, Allison. Did we notice? It was briefly on CNN. I'm not blaming CNN. Uh, the markets also fell, but uh, missiles and markets. But the, the missile test was a two-stage uh, submarine-launched missile from North Korea with a range to hit Japan, uh, a three-stage missile that uh, could be launched by North Korea, would have the range to hit us. The reentry problem is still there. But nonetheless, this was not a joke, not any kind of joke. And President Trump has made no comment about it. And this is the day before or the day after uh, new talks were just announced. But Congresswoman, what are you suggesting? That the impeachment is all too all-consuming? Um, it is, it is all consuming. I'm suggesting that uh, foreign leaders are wary of us and are also emboldened to chart their own course because they don't think there are enough brain cells on the problem. State Department's now preoccupied with a uh, subpoena and uh, uh, there is also far less, I think, a process than there should be on foreign policy issues. Uh, and I worry that we don't have uh, the, the, the eyes on target that we need to protect the United States and protect our interests around the world. It's not just, by the way, the phone call with the Ukrainian president um, in which we see in the transcript President Trump pressing him to um, help him politically. Here's another example. This comes from our team, Kevin Liptak and um, Caitlin Collins. They report that Trump believed that he could persuade British Prime Minister Boris Johnson and Australian Prime Minister Scott Morrison to help him discredit the Russia investigation. Trump raised the matter in telephone conversations with Johnson and Morrison over the summer, according to people familiar with the calls. And so this is happening. I mean, we just happen to be focused on Ukraine, but this seems to be a pattern. Well, I, I don't know the details of those calls. It worries me that uh, all this information leaks everywhere. Um, and, and, but, you know, Trump's style is bilateral to deal with senior people and, uh, and, and try to make deals. And that's how you make a deal. You do this and I'll do that. I'm not excusing it, but it shouldn't be surprising that he would do this kind of thing. To go after dirt on an opponent uh, in foreign countries is, is troubling, got to say. And a lot of members of Congress on a bipartisan basis are saying that. I mean, well, not out loud. They're not, Jan. Well, uh, OK. Um, I, 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 mean, I, I wish there were a bigger bipartisan chorus about what's right and what's wrong. We have to follow the facts here. Uh, impeachment is a rough remedy. You've heard me say that on this show, Allison. Yeah. Uh, and if there isn't bipartisan and popular support for it, it, it could really hurt the country. What we're after here is what the facts are. And then Congress, with popular support, hopefully on a bipartisan basis, yep. needs to make a tough decision.